Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas. In this video here, we are going to install the Nord Sound Manager and install the White Grand onto my Nord Stage 3. I'm really excited about this. Thanks for coming along on today's video. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Nord website and you can see here that they have over on the right hand side the latest OS and on down below that they have the latest software tools. Down there you can see the Nord Sound Manager version 7.54. You can click on that and go over there or you can go to the software link up at the top. Many ways to get this and go to the Nord Sound Manager and the latest version is on the right hand side. It tells you which compatible products. It's compatible with the Stage 3. I'm going to go over here. The first thing that I did was make sure that the OS on the Nord Stage 3 was updated to the latest. To do that, watch my other video linked in the description below. It's a quick video that shows you how to plug the keyboard in and get the driver installed and get the OS updated. What I had to do is plug the keyboard into the computer. Windows, the first time I plugged it in, did not recognize and install the driver automatically. So I had to go to the website and download the driver through this driver's link here install the latest driver and then Windows picked it up fine. So it was really easy. If you're in that scenario, go watch the first video I did in this series on using it with a computer and that shows you how to install the driver manually on Windows. So what we're going to do here is go to the software tools and we're going to click, nah, not the sample editor, we're going to go back, we're going to click the sound manager because we want to manage the sounds on the keyboard and install the white grand. So what we're going to do is download this. I've already got it downloaded here in the sound manager. So we're going to show in folder and we're going to extract that using the extract all function. Okay, so once that's extracted, we go and right click on the sound manager setup and run as administrator and hit yes. I always run it as administrator just in case my computer has some user permissions in there and I need to bypass that by running it as an admin. So I do that just as a precaution. You might not have to, but I'm going to hit next. We're going to create a desktop shortcut. Why not? Next. I'm going to use the default destination folder as my C drive. It only takes 10 megabytes, so we're going to hit install. It installs quickly. We hit finish. And there we go. I'm going to close this directory. And if you go to your start menu, you'll see it up in the recently added, but if not, scroll down, should be in alphabetical order, go down to the Nord Sound Manager version 7.54 and open that up. I've got my Nord already on and on the screen, as soon as I open this, it said synchronizing. You can see that it is connected to the Nord. It shows the version of the keyboard there, version five, uh, 2.54. I updated the OS if you wanna watch that video, links in the description below. And right now, I'm going to expand this. And you see we have some options here. All of the sounds are listed here. We've got banks A through L, and you've got the location of them and all of that. So what we can do is we can go over to the piano. And you see in the different banks here, we've got grand, upright, electronic, clap. These correspond with the buttons over here under the piano select. And there's a lot of empty slots here, as you can see. So it says that I've got two... 1,700.6 megabytes used, 7.5 free. If I go to the sample library, uh, it's about <laughs> not much free. Programs, uh, 300 of 400 used. Synth, okay. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get rid of a piano or two before we can put the white grand on because what I did is on the Nord website, go to the sound libraries, go to the Nord piano library, grand pianos, and White Grand. It's the first one that pulls up currently as I'm making this video. And I downloaded the White Grand.npno. That is a Nord file format. And I did the extra large version. So what I'm gonna do is I don't play the Grand Imperial much. And what I'm gonna do is go in, you can see when you select it, it shows um, it's used by 172 different programs. Wow, okay. Let's go in and see if we can take off a couple that I don't use. What I'm gonna do is take a couple of the uprights that I don't use maybe and upload those to my computer. Basically, upload takes it from the keyboard, um, makes a copy on your computer, and download takes it from the computer, puts it onto the keyboard. Just think in terms of 
uploading it to the computer, downloading it onto the Nord. So everything's from the perspective of the Nord. So I'm going to go into my downloads Nord and I'm going to just select that folder. It says uploading. It's going to take a little bit here. We're going to do that for two or three of the sounds and then delete them off of the keyboard and install the white grand. By the way, I'm learning the sound manager with you. This is the first time I've opened it. So I am flying by the seat of my pants. Hopefully it all makes sense and works correctly. <laughs> I've already got the factory presets here. So I'm just gonna delete a couple of the pianos and make room. So I'm gonna delete this. You're sure you wanna delete it. It is in use if you process. The one program using this piano will be incomplete. If you want to replace a piano with another and relink to using the new piano, please use the substitute command from the toolbar. Okay, that's all right there. I'm going to do this with a couple more. So now that we have enough space on the Nord, in slot four, I'm going to right click and download. What this is going to do, it's going to ask me to select a sound from the computer to download. And so I'm going to grab that and click open. You can see it now says queued in the status here and it says cleaning. And on the keyboard itself, it's also reflecting a progress bar that says cleaning the same as the computer. I had to delete a couple of sounds. I probably didn't do it the right way. I deleted them and didn't relink or substitute on the programs because one sound itself can be used on multiple programs within the keyboard, either if it's a layer split program or whatever it is. So when you delete it, if you don't substitute, it's gonna be missing out of all those programs. So I'll probably have to do a factory reset and then do it the correct way. But just for the video, I cleaned some space and through the white grand on there. We'll give it a try, see how it sounds. I'll do a video at some point demoing some of the sounds on here with no talking, so you can just enjoy the beautiful sounds within the Nord and kind of, and get a feel for how the dynamics of different sounds are. So look for those in the future as well. While we're waiting for this, a little plug, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy this video, if it's helpful for you. I know that sometimes for me, watching a video, is much better than reading a manual or looking things up. I would just prefer to watch a video, see how it's done, and just go from there. So you can see here on the screen that it reflects the progress there, and it looks like we're almost done here. And it says, completed successfully. Now the keyboard went back, we can play it now. And I'm gonna go to the programs, and then go all the way to the first one. And on the grand side, make sure the type is on grand. And then we should go to our fourth slot, and there's the white grand. Wow, that sounds like an actual grand. It's actually more of kind of a seasoned grand sound than the previous grand. So if we go back to the royal grand, um, That's more of a clean sound, but if we bump to the fourth one there, white grand. Listen to that ring drop down. And that is that. Piano sound transferred successfully. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. And as always, stay inspired and keep making that music.